Hello everyone, Arkin here. You may have just missed it, but a new big skip has been found for Metroid Dread speedruns. This newfound trick involves using the short speed boost tech to acquire screw attack as early as camera lock would, which means this method will replace the camera lock glitch done in any percent unrestricted. Let's start this tutorial by taking a closer look at the trick to understand the steps involved. To perform this trick, we need to short boost on this platform, store the spark, flash shift and destroy the bomb blocks, and then ball spark diagonally into the ceiling, unmorph and flash shift onto the platform. Everything about this trick is pretty straightforward, except for how to do the new tech, the short boost. So that's going to be the main focus of this tutorial. First, I'll explain the inputs. Let's do it elsewhere because the room transition kind of gets in the way here. But as long as we're doing this on a wall or a ledge, it will work in the same way. So, you want to face away from the wall or a ledge and be as close to one full flash shift away from it as you can. Or do the same setup for the screw attack short boost, which I will explain in detail later. From here, hold A to ready your flash shift. Next, you'll want to push your left stick backward and immediately start rotating towards down and then release it into neutral. At the same time as you start rotating, you also want to release A. You should see Samus stopping about halfway into the flash shift. After a short delay, start speed boosting forward. The flash shift animation will catch up and pull Samus all the way to the wall. This distance that Samus got pulled backwards actually counts to building up the speed boost and it is the core of the short boost tech. Now, this is what happens when you do everything correctly, but I also want to show you what happens when things go wrong so you can understand what to improve. If you don't release A while rotating the stick, there is a good chance you'll flash shift a second time. Rotating the left stick down into neutral is heavily dependent on timing. If you rotate down too fast, then you'll simply cancel the flash shift and stop very close to the initial spot. Really good timing has Samus stopping about half distance to the wall. Late timing will leave Samus very close to the wall. Too late will of course have no effect. The same can be said about starting the speed boost. If you start moving too early, Samus will bonk on the wall and cancel the speed boost or get dragged out of the ledge. If you move just a few frames earlier, Samus will barely bonk on the wall or get off the ledge. Sometimes you get dragged and land in midair. That means you were really close too. If you do it just right, along with the correct down input, Samus will be pulled the maximum distance possible. If you do it late, Samus will still start the speed boost but she will be pulled a shorter distance. Practice, get a feel for the timings, and build up your consistency. This is very hard at first, but once you get the hang of that muscle memory, it does become more consistent. One thing you should keep in mind, think of rotating the L stick backward to down to neutral as the same action. Don't wait before you push down, and don't wait to release the L stick. Try to do it all in one go. Uh, but of course, not too fast, not too slow. Once you understand this tech better, go and practice for the screw attack short boost. There's less room there, and so the short boost will be far less lenient. Okay, now that we know how to perform the short boost, we can go for the full setup. 1. Grab the ledge. 2. Slow climb and morph halfway into the climb. This makes Samus roll forward a bit. 3. Unmorph and open the grapple door. 4. Hold down X plus left near the end of the opening animation to buffer a dash melee. 5. Do the short boost and do the rest of the trick. By the way, you want to ball spark just below the stalactite. That's all nice and dandy, but during an actual run, except for suitless categories, you'll be taking cold damage. On top of that base setup, I still have some strats to help mitigate the cold damage taken. Doors stay open for at least 3 seconds, but only close when you're not nearby. So open the door and wait a bit before going to the other room, so that it's ready to open when you start doing the setup. Rather than walking out, flash shift onto the ledge. You only start taking cold damage when the room loads, so you'll cover this extra distance for free. If things don't go well, you can kill these enemies that spawn to recover HP. Diffusion Beam kills the spawn before it's out, so use it to farm HP drops more quickly. 
To close this tutorial, let's see what this looks like when done in an actual run. Ten years later. Alright, that concludes this video. This newfound flash shift deck has more uses that currently don't have a place in speedruns. Soon enough, I'm sure the speedrunning community will find yet again another way to break the game and save time. In the meantime, I hope this tutorial has helped you learn how to perform short boosts and get that neat time save for early screw attack. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.